It's a competitive sport often overshadowed in San Diego by baseball and football. Table tennis, or ping pong, has quite a following here with more than 600 players in the San Diego Table Tennis Association. Jessica Chang brings us the story of one man who's dedicated his life to the sport and has the ultimate ping pong passion. This is where you'll find the top table tennis players in San Diego. Some teenagers here rank among the best in the country. But one member of the San Diego Table Tennis Association surpasses everyone else. When I lost, I was so mad. And the next time I lost again, and I was like, I'm not playing him anymore. This is it. I had known that he's beaten a lot of people before. The man to beat is 86-year-old Fred Borges, the oldest player in the club. At first glance, he may seem pretty defenseless. But with 75 years of experience, Fred's no average old man when it comes to table tennis. I still beat a lot of people uh, with a lot of uh, tricks that I have. Those fancy spins, strokes, and shots ranked him number nine in the nation during his prime. It's the fact that I could go anywhere where they play the game and say, I want to play your best player and have them tell me, as they did many times, well, don't bet on it because this guy is a shark. I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> so I had the shark for lunch. Even as he gets older and his skills wane, his ego never falters. Yeah, U.S. Open. I know. That's the top. I was number one in the country in that age. When he was 80, he even challenged a group of guys, a quarter of his age, at a billiards parlor. Knocked off one, two, three, four. They, they were absolutely amazed. And that was a big thrill for me. Calling him proud is an understatement, but sharing memories from the good old days is his way to prove that this old man was once a champ. Now I can't beat anybody at 86. Fred can barely keep up with the beginning level kids now, but he won't quit. The sport that has become his life is now his lifeline. Because of what my doctor told me. He said, I don't care if you can't beat anybody anymore, but if you don't go out there and play, you're going to die. And that was very convincing. I would imagine. <laughs> his feet slow him down now, but his mind and hand movements are still sharp. So now he prides himself on another one of his talents. I'm one of the best teachers in the world at everything that I do. He's passing on his ping pong passion Good shot. to kids at different rec centers in San Diego. I can see that when I give them lessons, they're learning about 10 or 20 times as fast if I just let them alone. And when the ball comes over here, yeah. you're going to lean forward. So it's a backhand. Yeah. Within 10 minutes, his lessons even helped me improve dramatically. You won your first point. Yay! Woo! I love teaching. And I love seeing my students get better. If I beat them, it's because I'm very good. If they beat me, it's because I'm a great teacher. So I win either way. <laughs> it's that camaraderie and competitive spirit that keeps Fred coming back to play every week. But on this night, he wasn't feeling well and left early. And as he left watching these top players, Fred told me he wishes he had one more day to be young again. But as these younger players watch him play, they hope they'll still be at the ping pong table when they're as old as Fred is. I'm Jessica Chang, Channel 4, San Diego. So you can't carry a tune, but you'd like to be in a